Good Sunday evening, San Antonio. I'm meteorologist Mia Montgomery. With this weather authority update, we are less than 24 hours away from the total solar eclipse, and here's what we're monitoring when it comes to the forecast. As we head into early Monday morning, another surge of humidity works into South Texas, so some low-level cloud cover is expected to develop, as well as some patches of fog and drizzle. By eclipse time, totality around 1.30 p.m. early Monday afternoon. Unfortunately, still mostly cloudy skies expected. Not an ideal crystal clear view of the eclipse, but a few breaks in some of that low level cloud cover is certainly possible. After that, this is going to be important for those traveling post eclipse, or even if you're just planning on being out and about by late Monday afternoon and into the evening, an isolated strong storm not ruled out. Additional strong storm chances continue overnight Monday and into Tuesday. So we'll talk about that in just a bit. But first, I really want to unpack the latest on your eclipse day forecast. Here's the setup. An area of low pressure is settling into the desert southwest tomorrow is going to send a deck of high level clouds into South Texas. At the same time, that moisture returning into our neck of the woods is going to allow those low clouds to develop early Monday. By Monday afternoon, 1 to 2 p.m., unfortunately, mostly cloudy skies are still expected. However, especially for those in the path of totality, across portions of the hill country and out west near the Rio Grande, a few breaks in some of that low level cloud cover still are looking possible, which could help some folks catch a brief view of that eclipse taking place. Here's what that translates to when it comes to your eclipse day forecast. Again, those overcast skies expected in the morning with some patchy fog and drizzle, a few peaks possible into the early afternoon before we monitor for a few isolated storms to pop up by late afternoon. And here's just another way to look at it. Partially blocked view on the left, totally blocked view on the right. It is worth reiterating that even if if your view is blocked by the low level clouds, if you are in the path of totality, it is still going to be a very cool experience with skies getting dramatically darker when totality takes place. So not all hope is lost. It is still going to be a very cool thing to witness. Something to check back in on though. We will continue to keep you posted on any updates here over the next 24 hours. After the eclipse by about three, four o'clock Monday afternoon, we will be keeping our eyes on authority radar for a few isolated storms that could develop. If a storm does develop, it could become strong to severe with instances of hail and strong winds being the main things to monitor. So not for everybody tomorrow and even into Monday night, Tuesday and Tuesday night as well. But with those strong storm chances in the forecast, definitely stay weather aware and check back in with us here as we monitor those. Again, another round of some scattered storms possible overnight Tuesday, just a stray storm early Wednesday. Before we clear things out Wednesday afternoon, sunshine takes over and a much quieter weather pattern is in store for the second half of the upcoming week.